outpost at Baitbridge is an important border on the North-South Corridor with significant numbers of trucks and passenger vehicles going to and from the South African ports and, to a lesser extent, Maputo and countries to the north, such as Zimbabwe, Zambia, DR Congo and Malawi. There are also instances in which the land route to the north, into Tanzania and even into Sudan, has been used in preference to the sea route. It is a border post that experiences extreme forms of traffic congestion at peak periods. It was identified as the main border post to work on in terms of alleviating congestion at Chirundu. Completion of the 300 million US dollar Bait Bridge border post modernization project will speed up the rollout of the one stop border post concept between Zimbabwe and South Africa. The border post is undergoing an extensive upgrade through a public private partnership arrangement between government and Zim Borders Consortium, a group of local and South African financiers who are funding the project. A one-stop border post allows for travelers and goods to be cleared at one point before passage into either country, as opposed to the current setup where clearance processes are duplicated on both ends. The modernization is being rolled out in three phases. Pre-commencement works, internal border infrastructure development, and outside border infrastructure development. Over 450 people will be employed to undertake the project with 185 people having already been hired under the first phase. Upon completion, volume of human and cargo will increase fivefold. Currently, an average of 500,000 travelers, 4,000 buses, 100,000 light vehicles, and 40,000 commercial trucks transit through the border post every month. Minister for Presidential Affairs and monitoring the implementation of government programs, Dr. Joram Gumbo, was impressed when he visited the project. I'm really happy about the progress that is being uh, done here by uh, the contractor. From the brief that I, I got, the works are going on smoothly, and I am also very impressed about what I see. The CEO of Zim Borders, Francois Dedrickson, announced that 1,000 people got jobs during construction works, with 94% being locals. 400 people will be permanently employed when the project is completed. During the construction phase, on the construction side, there's a thousand employees on site now and, and on all the various phases of work, um, which 94% of which being Zimbabwean nationals and locals. Uh, in the ICT side, it's a little bit less people. It's about 250 people. Uh, also, um, north of 90% being Zimbabweans. So that's during the development phase. In the operation phase, when we maintain the buildings, maintain the ICT and run it, etc. There will be a permanent staff complement um, during that phase of around 400 people, of which the majority, if not all, will be Zimbabwean nationals. Mobile Ngube, Acting Regional Immigration Officer for Southern Region, explains positives from the late's works. We are very grateful that the, the, the principals and the policymakers took heed of our, our request for a, a, an expanded infrastructure. And they actually went and outdid themselves because the latest design is going to focus on traffic separation. When you look at cross-border movement, traffic separation is the critical cure to most of the problems that we encounter at any port of entry. Because when we separate traffic, we are dedicating each form of sector to a specific section where their specific needs are dealt with without other the sectors interfering. I'll give you for an example. What you have seen now is a completed phase one, which is the new freight terminal. 
now. A beautiful setup. What it has done, it has totally separated the traffic, tracking traffic, the freight sector, to, to their own the terminal. You are no longer mixing the trucks with the buses. You are no longer mixing the trucks with private vehicles and the pedestrians. And the immigration officers and the customs officers who are attending to the people in the freight terminal are now attending to people solely that are there for the freight concerns and the freight industry. And what is the advantage of this? It means the wheels of industry, the, the, the trucks are going to turn faster, economies are going to turn faster, e-commerce is going to be boosted much faster because they've got a solely dedicated lane for them. Engineer Rupia, the resident project engineer, unpacks some of the non-port benefits in the town. We've got the housing for the Zimra, which has got more than 200 houses which are under construction. We've got a water reservoir and a water pipeline, which will be able to even suffice the Bedbridge Town Council. We've got the animal quarantine, which is under construction as well. We've got uh, the, the fire station, which is under construction in Bedbridge, which we didn't have one, but it's also under construction within this particular project. He further explains benefits of enhanced security now installed at the border. What we appreciate more is part of the security which has been actually enhanced actually to meet the needs and counter all the loopholes which were actually uh, complemented by the lack of such IT items which have been complemented here. Because each and every truck that enters here is actually captured by the camera and all other activities are actually also captured here. So we complement this uh, through the enhancement of the security systems which has been here. Once the truck enters uh, the search area, the booms open automatically because it, the cameras capture the range of each and every vehicle and the, the vehicle is directed to wherever it is directed to such as the scanners as well as the search point. Some are searched manually and some are uh, scanned with the, the scanners which have been improved again at the border post. Uh, this, all this actually has been uh, made possible to counter the, all the loopholes that were emanating from the border which would uh, ex accelerate the illicit I mean, uh, movement of goods and whatever it is, all this is, will come to an end. Actually, it is going to be eliminated 100% in as far as we are concerned.